Greetings, my name is Ku Kahakalao, and I am Hawaiian. So was my father, Lopaka Kahakalao, and my grandfather, William Kiahunui Kahakalao, and his parents, Daniel Kikino Kahakalao, and Kiao Opupele, and all of the ancestors come be that come before that. And we have never relinquished our right to be Hawaiian. And so I raised my two daughters from the moment they were born as Hawaiians. I taught them our language like it was passed down to me from my kupuna. I raised them in the taro patch of Waipio so that they can take care of the land, like our kupuna took care of the land. I, I introduced them to their and to our kupuna through ceremonies from the beginning of time because we are Hawaiian and we are a nation that is under distress that was illegally overthrown by the United States government, but we have never relinquished ourselves to be a nation. My mom is pure German, and so I lived in the occupied country of Germany where the U.S. was also occupying, and we noticed that there was a division between the countries that is no longer. If those kind of changes can happen, then the United States, too, can return to us, our nation of Hawaii name. And it's not a matter of you helping us, because we don't need your help. As an educated Hawaiian, as a grassroots, practitioner, I am 100% convinced that we together, Kako, the Hawaiians, not Marco as far as you folks are concerned, we are ready, willing, and able to begin this process of creating our own nation. And what you need to do is to deoccupy. You need to leave like you've left other places, follow that same pattern, and let us allow us to control our own destiny, to create our own future for my mo'opuna that are coming up in future generations. So mahalo nui loa e na po e akua kua mai nei, mahalo noho e na makua, na kupuna, me na au makua, me ke akua mana loa i mahalo Mahalo, mm. Mahalo. Mm. Mahalo. Mm. Mahalo. Mm. Mahalo. 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 Greetings everyone. My name is Polani Makamai Kuako Kalani Kaakalao. I am the daughter of Kue Nale Kaakalao. I am currently a student at Hawaii Community College acquiring my AA in Hawaiian Studies. My testimony this evening is simple. As a young Hawaiian born on the Hawaii Kua'uli and raised in the taro patches of Waipio Valley, I have been involved in Hawaiian ceremony and cultural practices since birth. Graduating from Hawaii's first fully accredited Hawaiian-focused charter school, I have learned about our history, language, and culture and the accomplishments of our Hawaiian kupuna as expert navigators, agriculturalists, and functional artists. As their descendant, I have no doubt that we, the Hawaiian people, do not need the U.S. federal government or the Hawaiian state government to create and execute our own process of reestablishing an independent Hawaiian nation. We do, need, we do need the necessary resource to engage in such process, which should be provided by the state and federal governments who have profited from our lands and other resources for many years. As to your first question, my answer is no. Just let us create our own independent nation first, and then the secretary can propose administrative rules that pertain to the U.S. The answer to number two is also no. We do not need your assistance to reestablish our Hawaiian government, and based on the testimony so far, it appears like the majority of Hawaiians, including myself, don't want you either. We don't need you, and we don't want you. All we want is to take care of our kuleana, our responsibilities. As to question four, it is also known as the illegal occupier of Hawaii, neither the federal government nor the Hawaii state, an agent of illegal occupiers should be involved in reestablishing our Hawaiian government. Please understand this is nearly a native Hawaiian kuleana. It is our responsibility to reestablish a Hawaiian nation independent from all others, including the U.S. Mahalo Nui. Mahalo. Mm. After Imai is Jerry Ann. I'm a student at UH Chilo, I'm a Chancellor Scholar, um, I'm a cultural practitioner, and I am saying no to all five of your questions. 
And uh, the simple reason is because we can do it ourselves, because we know ourselves the best. We can answer anything we need. We know what our keikis need, so we can do our own education. We know how to, we like going outside and getting our own food. It's not poverty. We can, we can do all of that. We can answer our own questions. And, and when we've asked you, there hasn't been any answer. You guys have sh shoved us in with everybody else and we're unique, we're not like everybody else. And so I'm part of this future generation and I'm, I'm ready to pick up whatever I have to, if it's a neva, if it's a book, whatever it is. I am here, I was raised culturally, but I also have the education piece, which is what we need. And so thank you for the offer, but no thank you. Thank you.